huwag kang magalala. Makakabangon din ang ating paaralan. At malalagpasan din natin ang mga pagsubok kagaya nito. Good morning, ma'am. Oh, good morning. Oh, wala naman tayong pasok ka. Anong ginagawa niyo dito? Eh, ma'am, nabalitaan po kasi namin yung nangyari sa paaralan natin eh. Eh, kaya po naisipan po namin na dumaan dito. Nakainisipan po namin na baka makatulong po kami sa inyo. O siya, lulubusin ko na ang pagpunta niyo dito. Kumuha na kayo ng mga walis at ng mga basa na hmm. tulungan niyo na ako. Sige po, ma'am. Maraming salamat. Sige yan. Akin to, ha? Sige. Ah. Ayusin niyo na lang yung mga upuan ka lang. Ay, good Uy. morning! Naku, tundito rin ba kayo para tumulong? Oo! Oh, sige, um, ayusin niyo yung mga upuan, tapos yung mga basahan at mga walis. Meron mga walis doon, ha? Maraming mga walis. Naku, salamat dito, naman at nagpunta kayo. Makala ko ako lang mag-isa, naglilinis dito. si Archie? Oo, oh, kaso walang sumasagot eh. Pero nung dumaan yung jeep na sinakyan ko sa tapat ng bahay nila, sarado. Pero mukhang hindi naman sila binaha. Ah, uh, siguro baka may ibang gagawin. Oo, oh, baka nga. Tungon ko. Ma'am, oh. nandito po ang mama ko. Kasama ang mga kasamahan niyang bumbero. Gusto raw po nila tumulong sa paglilinis ng silid aralan. Ganun ba? Naku, maraming salamat at malaki ang maitutulong nila. Hawakan mo to at magpapaalam ako sa prinsipal. Sige po. Kaya kahapon, no? Kahit nakakapagod maglinis, akala ko di na makakapunta si Archie. Hindi, ah. Siyempre, tutulong ako. Lalo na kapag kumpleto tayo. Alam nyo, parang nakakapanibagong magklase sa basketball ko. Pakiramdam ko parang nasa PE class tayo, eh. Oo nga, eh. Tsaka, dinig pala dito yung ingay ng jeep, no? Kaysa nung nasa loob tayo ng classroom. Eh, asan si Ria? Dadaan lang daw muna siya sa principal's office. Bakit daw? Hindi ko alam eh. Kanina pa tahimik si Ria. Sayang nga wala siya sa paglilinis natin kahapon. May... may problema ba si Ria? Ano? Ah, baka nasalang ta sila ng bagyo. Hindi ko naisip yun ah. Hindi nga kaya. Kung ganun kawawa naman si Ria. Mami ba ni Ria yun? Siguro. Bakit kaya kausap ni Principal ang mami ni Ria? Ay, si Ria. Ay, si Ria. Hi, Ria. Hi, Ria. Ria, mami mo ba yung kausap ng Principal? Ay, oo. Sayang. Hindi ko kami naipakilala. Nagmamadali kasi si mami. Ah, ah okay lang. Sa ibang pagkakataon na lang. Nandito kami sa school kahapon na. Bakit wala ka? Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, Miss Ignaya. You may all take your seat. 
Gusto kong makausap ang buong klase ngayong hapon para sa isang mahalagang paalala. Class, hindi naman lingid sa kaalaman ng lahat ng ating paaralan ay may kasalukuyang pinagdaraan. Gusto kong magpasalamat sa lahat ng mga tumulong kahapon sa paglilinis. Alam ko rin na naiintindihan ninyo kung bakit sa basketball court muna tayo pansamantalang magkaklase. Ngunit sa kabutihang palad naman ay isa sa inyong mga kaklase ang nagmagandang loob upang tugunan ang kolunus-lunus na sinapit ng ating bubungan. Ang kanyang mga magulang ay pumunta dito kanina. At nangako na sila ay tutulong upang makalikom ng pera sa pagpapaayos at pagpapalit ng ating natuklap na bubungan at ang gumuhong pader para na rin sa kaligtasan ng mga mag-aaral. Kaya sa darating na Sabado at Linggo ay magkakaroon tayo ng mga volunteer workers. Ang mga estudyante na gustong tumulong ay malugod na tatanggapin basta lamang magpapaalam sa inyong mga magulang. Tia, pakisabi sa mami mo. Thank you, ah. Humingi lang din naman ng tulong sila mami at daddy sa mga kakilala nilang engineer at contractor para matulungan yung pagsasayos ng paaralan. Hindi naman kami yung talagang gagastos dun eh. Ah, parang yung ginawa ng mami ni Archie? Mm -mm. Cool! classroom na ito. Dahil sa tulong ninyo sa pag-aayos ng paaralan ay agad tayong nakabangon. Ngayon, mag-aaral na tayong muli ng inyong favorite subject. Ng inyong favorite subject! Yay! Favorite subject! Woo! That's what I like most about you guys. Okay. Naaalala nyo pa ba yung huli nating pinag-aralan sa klase? Yes. Uh, Ma'am, pinag-usapan po natin about sa linear inequalities at kung paano i-graph po ito. Ah, tama. Ngayon, titingnan natin kung paano mag-graph ng systems of linear inequalities. Pero para mas maintindihan natin ito, dapat alam nyo pa rin kung paano mag-graph ng linear inequalities in two variables. Ang systems of linear inequalities in two variables ay binubuo ng dalawa o higit pang linear inequalities. Halimbawa, at para mahanap natin ang solution set ng systems na kagaya ng mga ito, iisa-isahin natin i-graph ang inequalities sa isang coordinate plane. Example, graph the system. y is greater than or equal to x and y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 1. To graph y is greater than or equal to x, we should first graph its boundary line. To do that, replace the inequality sign with equal sign and assign value for x and solve for y. When x is 1, y is equal to 1. When x is 0, y is equal to 0. And when x is negative 1, y is equal to negative 1. Using the points 1, 1, 0, 0, and negative 1, negative 1, the graph of the linear inequality would be... Notice that the boundary line crosses the point of origin and the shaded region is the half plane above the line. 
Since the inequality symbol is greater than or equal to, it means that for any ordered pair, y should be greater than or equal to x. That's why the solution set for this inequality includes all the points on and above the boundary line y equals x. To graph the inequality y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 1, graph its boundary line first. To do that, change the inequality sign into equal sign. Then, find two points which lie on the line using the x and y intercept method. To find the x intercept, let y be 0 and solve for x. And to find the y intercept, let x be 0 and solve for y. Using the points 0, 1, and 1, 0, the graph of the linear inequality y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 1 would look like this. Notice that the boundary line crosses the x-axis at 1, 0, and crosses the y-axis at 0, 1. And the shaded region is the half plane above the boundary line. Since the inequality sign is greater than or equal to, it means that for any ordered pair, the value of y should be greater than or equal to negative x plus 1. That's why the solution set for this inequality includes all the points on and above the boundary line y equals negative x plus 1. Ngayon, para makita natin ang parehong solution set ng dalawang inequality, i-graph natin sila sa isang coordinate plane. In here, we see that the graphs of the linear inequalities meet, and this region of their section includes all the points which satisfy the conditions of both inequalities. We can check if we want to know that any point in the region of intersection really makes both inequalities true. Say for instance, x is 1 and y is 2. Therefore, the solution to this system is... Tingnan natin ang mga iba pang halimbawa. To graph systems of linear inequalities, we graph the inequalities in the system one at a time. The boundary of the half plane representing the first inequality is the line y equals x plus 2. The line is drawn as a broken line to indicate that the points on the line y equals x plus 2 are not part of the solution set. The region above the broken line is shaded to signify the ordered pairs that are solutions of the first inequality. Next, we graph the half plane representing the second inequality. The boundary of the second inequality is the line y equals negative 1 over 2 x minus 1. The boundary is drawn as a solid line to indicate that the points on the line y equals negative 1 over 2 x minus 1 are part of the solution set. The region below the boundary line is shaded to signify the solutions of the second inequality. Once all inequalities of the system have been graphed, the intersection of the half planes is taken. The intersection of the half planes represents the solutions of the system. The same process is done to graph the next example. The boundary of the half plane representing the first inequality is the line 3x plus y equals 9 or y equals negative 3x plus 9. The line is drawn as a solid line to indicate that the points on the line y equals negative 3x plus 9 are part of the solution set. The region below the boundary line is shaded 
to signify the ordered pairs that are solutions of the first inequality. Next, we graph the half plane representing the second inequality. The boundary of the second inequality is the line y equals 4. The boundary is drawn as a solid line to indicate that the points on the line y equals 4 are part of the solution set. The region above the boundary line is shaded to signify that the solutions of the second inequality. Once all inequalities of the system have been graphed, the intersection of the half planes is taken. The intersection of the half planes represents the solutions of the system. The next system is composed of three linear inequalities. We start by graphing the first inequality. Its boundary is the solid line x plus 2y equals 6, or y equals negative 1 over 2x plus 3. The region below the boundary is shaded to indicate the solutions of the first inequality. The boundary of the second inequality is also a solid line with equation x plus y equals 3 or y equals negative x plus 3. The region above the boundary is shaded to indicate the solutions of the second inequality. The boundary of the third inequality is the line x equals 0 or the y-axis. The region at the right of the y-axis is shaded to indicate the solutions of the third inequality. The intersection of the three half planes represents the solutions of the given system of linear inequalities. Yes, Ria. Ma'am, naalala ko po yung nangyari dito sa school noong Sabado dahil sa lesson natin na graphing systems of linear inequalities in two variables. Ah, talaga, Ria? Bakit mo naman nasabi yan? Ang mga graph po kasi ng systems natin ay nagtatagpo. Para po noong Sabado na marami ang nagpunta dito upang tumulong naisin ang gusali ng paaralan. Iba-ibang tao po ang nakibahagi sa gawain iyon. Iba't iba man ng bawat isa, pinagbubok na din ng iisang layunin. At walang gawain ng imposible kapag ang lahat ay nagkakaisa. Ikaw, ako, tayong lahat, sabay-sabay, lahat sa kay hay.